What's up, video creators? Welcome to Creating Comments. There's a popular thing on YouTube, which is commenting on comments, and I thought I'd create comments in certain groups and on my page and my group. And here's uh, something, a question from yesterday that I, uh, that I saw uh, in, a, in a Facebook group. And the guy was asking, I need a nameplate like the one in this video needing an editable After Effects template where we can just change the name each time. This is the given example. It looks actually pretty simple if you know After Effects. But before we get into learning how, how to do this, uh, you can download this thing, this, this requested After Effects file, and we're gonna, we're gonna take it a step further and create a motion graphics template for Adobe Premiere out of it, if you're using Premiere to edit your videos. So you don't even have to fire up After Effects and change the text and the color and the position. And let's take a look at how we'd actually create this. I've used this video snippet of an interview that I shot two years ago that the example was fitness related. Here's a bodybuilder, so I thought a, uh, that would be a good fit. Let's start by adding a shape object here with no layer selected, just draw this. I've, I've done this before, so it, it does have the color that resembles the color in the example. Uh, and now go to the rectangle and go to, uh, hang on, go to transform rectangle, uncheck uniform scale, and then scale this so it looks um, kind of like the example. And then uh, bring it into position like like so. Vertical scale, maybe, maybe this. So we want to animate this like in the example so hit the stopwatch here this is your end position and of course it will start animating at zero and then we end up with this thing here just hit b and end for the workspace and see how it looks that's pretty good now select the keyframes uh, hit f9 for the easing and then hit the graph editor Go in and just uh, adjust the timing here just a little bit so it's it's stopping slowly and that looks okay maybe just a tad slower something like this that's good enough and now go in and uh, just drag a text field here and the name of this gentleman is Jay Cutler. And the font, it's already here, BBS. And it's BBS regular, okay? Of course, we want this to be uh, bigger, like so. And position it maybe here. The color, of course, should be the one that we had selected before. So it's this color here. Now the text layer, like this, and then he's a uh, four-time Mr. Olympia, and change this to white, smaller, so it does look like, as requested, it does look like um, the given example. And that's basically the look of this of this lower third. Maybe the position should be more to the middle. Hit shift to make bigger increments. That's it. Now we want to animate this, the text. We animated the shape layer already. When we hit U, it's right here. So this should be starting maybe the beginning of the comp right here. And once this is done, this the text will fly in i separated this you could put it on one text layer and then use one of the animation presets but just so we are more flexible um, i'm putting it on two text layers so take this mask it um, maybe you would be tempted to use like a track mat and then use another layer to to mask this, but there's a there's an easier way to do it. Since we had applied this mask, just go in and 
hit the stopwatch on mask path and on position. And what this does is when you now go in and when you now go in and pan behind, the mask will stay in place and the text will fly in. Okay. And of course we want to ease this as well. So select all the keyframes, hit F9, go into the graph editor and just drag the Spezier handle here. And um, once we hit pre-render, boom and boom, pretty simple, okay? And now we're gonna do the same with that other text field. So where's uh, maybe around here. So go to this text field here, go to, uh, Oh yeah, we just have to draw a mask. So mask this one as well. Boom. And no, you have to select it and then mask. Here you go. And now, and now, uh, just like we did with that other text layer, stopwatch for mask path and stopwatch for position. And now if we use the pan behind tool, boom, there you go. Oh, hang on. Um, I forgot something. Once I hit that stopwatch, this is my end position. So I have to select these keyframes and then drag them over. And now pan behind. So we have the starting point. Let's see what that looks, looks like. Maybe to slow. And of course, the easing and the graph editor to get the timing right so it just slowly moves into place. Boom, boom, boom. Simple as that. That's basically that given example. We're actually done here because <laughs> that's what the guy was asking for. But now let's take this a step further because we want to create a motion graphics template out of it. For that to work, uh, there's two things I want to do. One, I want to add a null object, Control, Shift, Alt, and Y, <laughs> Y or Z, Y, uh, that's muscle memory here. And then take all these, um, take all these other layers and pick with them, them to this, to this null, maybe call them, I don't know, position control, whatever you want to call it. And what this does is now you're going to be able to go in and reposition everything without, without even touching it. That's important for our position value in the motion graphics template to work. Okay. That's the first thing to do. The second thing is uh, we have this text here and I, I want this color to be editable in the MoGraph template as well, but I can't, I can't put this into the essential graphics template. So um, I want to, I want to put a layer style on it, which is color overlay. And in that color overlay, apply this color again. Because now, when I right-click this color here, I can say Add Property to Essential Graphics. And I've got it open right here. If you don't see that, it's under Window and Essential. Where is it? Essential Graphics. So when I uh, right-click and say Add Property to Essential Graphics, this is what we're going to be seeing in the MoGraph template in Premiere Pro. So this is, um, name it, uh, I don't know, name, color. And the same thing with the shape layer, twirl it open, go to fill, right click the color and say line color. Simple as that. And now when you do that in the, when you change the color in the essential graphics template, it will change the color of that shape. And maybe you want to apply a color to that um, position text as well. So go ahead and um, apply a layer style to that as well. Layer style, color overlay, put that to white, just so we have it in place and you have it in your, I call it position, you can, you can call it whatever you want. Um, so that's done. And now the last thing that we want to 
put into that motion graphics template is um, the position of the controller here. Position. And for the source text, you would just go into that text source, source text, right click add property. That's this one here. You could call it whatever you want. And the same with the second text field text source text add property and then and then you would save this out um, as a motion graphics template just hit ex export motion graphics template and you're all set now when we head over to premiere pro i did that already here go to essential graphics browse bottom right corner hit that icon and then uh, load that motion graphics template and um, when we select this template here you see all these um, properties that we saved out to the motion graphics template. And now when we go into that source text and say, I don't know, something like this, and then change this to, to that, and then maybe change the color, copy this, and then the same thing over here, paste that, and we're all set, okay? And that's basically it, it's pretty simple. If, if I was to sell that on Video Hive or something, I would. Um, it, the, the names cannot be too long. You have to take that into account when creating this. Um, I would. I would do that with uh, expressions maybe, but for the course of this tutorial, that's that's good enough. Hope that question has been answered with this tutorial. If you have any questions, just comment below this tutorial. You can find the download link to this template below this video as well. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like the Facebook page and subscribe to the YouTube channel. And um, yeah, if you have any other questions, please keep them coming. I'll try to, I'll try to create them. Thank you for watching. Bye.